What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here and today guys in this video I'm going to be doing a full iOS 5.1 overview. Now here is my iPhone 4S running iOS 5.1. By the way, if you want to update, just go to Settings, General, Software Update. And then from there you can download iOS 5.1. Obviously I already have it on my device, that's why you see iOS 5.1, your software is up to date. But if you are running 5.0 or 5.0.1 on the correct device, you can basically go into Software Update and update directly from there without using a computer. That's one of the biggest features in iOS 5 that we've been waiting for. So go ahead and download it now, you can get it on an iPhone 4S, an iPhone 3GS, an iPhone 4, an iPod Touch 4G, an iPod Touch 3G, or the iPad 1 or iPad 2 and of course the new iPad because you'll probably be watching this video by the time the new iPad is released. So uh, yeah, just go ahead and download it and then you'll be set to go and you'll have the new software on your device. So uh, we'll go ahead and start off with the lock screen. So the first thing you'll notice is there is a permanent camera button here and it's actually not a button because when I tap it I kinda just get a bouncing uh, camera application effect but if it, I slide it up you can see that the camera app is right behind it and then of course I could slide it down so I can slide it up and from there I can take uh, videos or photos you know whatever I really want to do and then unless I have a passcode I could just hit the home button and go straight to the home screen so uh, basically what Apple did is they permanently put this little camera I guess we'll call this a nudge button type of thing uh, on the lock screen you cannot get rid of it no matter if you double tap the home button or not it will always be there and then they got rid of the unlock and just made it slide to unlock but they made the slide to unlock bar just a little bit bigger so the camera button is always there and that's how you can definitely tell the difference between iOS 5.1 and an earlier version it makes it really easy to tell the next biggest feature I noticed on my iPhone 4S was AT&T's little carrier symbol on here. As you can see, my carrier clearly reads 4G, as uh, at the time I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. And uh, this is because AT&T's 3G speeds actually meet up to the minimum requirements for 4G speeds. Now, if you're wondering, oh, if I update to iOS 5.1, if I'm on Verizon or Sprint, uh, then I'm definitely going to get 4G. No, you're not. This is for AT&T only, and it's not actually 4G. It's supposed to be 4G because it's actually pretty fast, but it's nothing new. It's not 4G LTE. Apple and AT&T are just kind of working to make the uh, carrier show up a little more accurate because the speeds are actually a pretty bumped up, decent type of thing from the iPhone 4 AT&T, so the 4G icon actually reads it correctly. So it, is, it doesn't speed up the internet, but it just uh, makes a little more sense seeing that. I noticed a lot of new updates to the music app. First of all, you'll notice in your playlists, they are set from bottom to top now, or at least with the recently added one. So uh, I guess this is just a feature to make it more appropriate. So, for example, my most recent song that I downloaded was Sorry for Party Rocking by LMFAO. So that will appear at the top of the list. And then also, when I'm playing a song, so let's say I play Make Me Proud, um, it will show this new volume type of icon. Go ahead and it up and show you. You can see instead of the speaker button, it's kind of like a volume icon. Uh, so Apple changed that too from the regular speaker that you would get like when you press this button. It's no longer that icon, it's more of like an actual, uh, I guess you could say loudspeaker. So I don't know if it's different when you connect headphones or not, I didn't look, but I noticed that. So there were a few uh, apps updates actually to the music app. And then if we go into Safari, you'll notice that there is now a little go to this address at the top. This is just a little thing I noticed, nothing really big. Um, so basically, instead of it just saying blank, uh, you could, it now says go to this address, and you can type it in there. Safari got a little bug enhancements here and there, and so on. The next big update Apple added that we knew was coming because of what Siri said is Siri in Japanese. Hello. It's obviously not going to understand me. For the record, I have absolutely no idea what Siri just actually said, but um, if you, uh, while well, you're still running iOS 5.0.1, if you ask Siri what languages she speaks, she actually does say Japanese, even though it was not an added feature at the time. So we were kind of hinted to the fact that Apple was going to add Japanese Siri, and uh, so we did get that in iOS 5.1. 
Aside from that, I really cannot see any more features that Apple added. Uh, those are just the main features. You know, of course, there are always bug fixes that Apple tries to put into the iOS software, as they always try to fix it. But one more little thing I wanted to add, or actually a big thing, with iOS 5.1, there are huge battery improvements. I mean huge. Now, my phone is down to 98% here, and I must say... It is such a bigger difference. When my iPhone was sitting in my pocket at school, I would get out of school and my phone would be down to 60%. For me, just checking Twitter occasionally in between classes and from just being in my pocket. Now, it lasts to at least 80%, which is really good. I'm actually watching the battery go down now, but that's just from keeping it on. So, uh, as always, there are battery improvements in iOS 5, the new updates that Apple comes out with. They're not completely patched up yet. Users are still complaining, but I guess it's going to happen forever because there really isn't a fantastic battery in the the Apple devices. There are good batteries and there are great batteries actually, not as good as you know other phones that you'd get, but there still is room for improvement and I guess Apple just hasn't hit the nail on the head. I think we just need better actual hardware batteries. I don't think a software release can actually fix it. But aside from that, that is iOS 5.1. Again, if you want to download, just go to settings, general, software update, and then from there you can download it. If you like this video, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button up top. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.